Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Micro Investor, where we do technical analysis and price predictions on multiple different cryptocurrencies every single day. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about Polygon Matic. So uh, currently what we're seeing with Polygon is we just recently saw a very nice price pump that had happened, and we have Polygon currently above the price of 89 cents. So that was a very key price that we needed to get over. Um, that's also putting us up within this uh, this Fibonacci level that's getting us closer and closer to uh, to completely retracing our wave five that we had that was all part of an actual wave um wave one from a much larger impulse then we've come down within a wave two and now we're going up within a wave three at this moment is what i'm going to say um but what we can look at here is we were within this th this uh descending wedge that we were in we were in this little um this little falling wedge here that we were in since the fifth wave that we had to the upside and then as it had come down we were working on trying to break through it, and that's what we just managed to actually do a few days ago. So this is all working out into a really good process, and it's also working out just like how the uh, how the technicals are showing us. So what we what we have here is we've had the wave one, the wave two, and now the wave three in the process. So hopefully, this will go and break above that that one dollar and six cent price that uh, we're hoping to be above. Here, hopefully within this uh this next month and that would that would really confirm that wave three being in the works now as far as the wave four and the wave five goes let's not get too far ahead of ourselves first the wave three is what we're really trying to focus on so this first wave really went and it had that resistance within this price that we had um a good amount of support back in 2021 so that that one dollar in a six cent price that we had resistance at that's the same as this uh this key level of support that we had in 2021 where you can see after we had gotten above that and we managed to hold on to it we had these large price movements that went between that price so after we ended up falling through that price which we did have a little bit of a support back in back in may when it fell through that's where it took us to our bottom to that 52 week low, which is, um, which was at a price of around a, a little bit under 32 cents. So, um, we're, we've had a really nice uh, retracement so far from that low, but there's still plenty more to go at this point. So right now, as we pump through this Fibonacci level and we're not really seeing much price movements at it what we actually have going on here is we have our 200 day moving average that's just a little bit above that fibonacci level so the the 200 day moving average is 92 cents right now so that's what's leading into a lot of this resistance that we're seeing at the moment so that's another key price to pump over but what you can see is when we had the most recent pump we did manage to actually get above our uh our 100 day moving average so we've seen so much within these price movements due to a lot of the consolidation within the price of of the moving averages so now that that 200 day moving average that 92 cent price if we pump through that then we're pretty much in a really good spot to be able to get to the top of this fibonacci level and break through it because that was also a key area that was creating a lot of that resistance at that that um, that ninety seven cent price that we we're trying to break through within these uh, these first five waves that we had to the upside, so our wave one, and that was also one of the reasons why we had resistance at that level as well. So if we pump through the two hundred day moving average, and then we pump through that seventy cent price, this wave three that we're within right now, this wave three can hopefully take us up to a price of around a uh, one dollar and eighty cents or two dollars. I think it would retrace the price that it was at at the end of March, early April, before we saw the price really start to decline within that second quarter of this year. So that's it for now. I'll be sure I keep you guys updated on more news with Polygon and, of course, many other cryptocurrencies as well. So uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. New content coming out every single day. I'll just see you guys in the next cryptocurrency video coming out right after this. Thank you for watching and listening.